Right on cue. Nice of our real enemies to drop by. You just sit tight while we take care of them, aight? Trust me on this one. <gasps> hey now! What do you think you're doing? The show is just getting good. And you fully screwed up our wager to boot! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I spoil your fun? You really are a bunch of sickos, you lot. He doesn't seem like a soldier. Who are you? <laughs> My iris. Check it and weep. What in the... Ouroboros? A city refugee? Mobius Hunter? <gasps> Mobius Hunter? You what? Wait, is that what they call us these days? No idea. I don't recall hunting any. Just cleaning up the mess you always end up making, bailing you out of trouble. Exactly. Okay, anyway. Those two kids over there, they're in our custody now. Custody, you say? <laughs> you sound like you think you can take us on! This mighty pairing of Mobius 2 and I! Obviously. After all, gotta live up to our new nickname. The humans must be really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Matthew, I don't suppose you'd mind telling us about your sister, what happened to Niall, and so on. Uh -huh. I wouldn't want to force you. No, it's fine. All right. It happened on the day the city fell. <sighs> Mobius. When I came to, I was all cuts and bruises. Back then, A was the one that nursed me back to life. Found me while traveling, apparently by pure chance. I see. That's why. It's not just that. It's him too. The Mobius bastard. I'll wring his neck with my bare hands. I swear it. You've hardly changed, to my eyes. You're saying I'm like him. No need to throw it in my face. <laughs> so why do you look like that? Logos was the male persona, and Numa the female one. Ontos was meant to stand somewhere between, forming the Trinity Processor. It all adds up to me. I see. Does Matthew know? So about you and Alpha, what happened? How did you split apart? It was unforeseen. For that Mobius and man to have that kind of power. To my fortune, it unshackled me from the chains of Ontos. Chains? As you may know, and this is surely evident to you, Shulk, but Origin, it's based upon the architecture of Ontos's core.
I heard about that from Melia. A gift from Alvis, she called it. Ontos was the Arbiter. And thus, was predicated on the existence, or perhaps the opinions, of the others, Logos and Numa. In short, without the two of them present, Ontos was just a machine. My original, he was shaped by Klaus, and shouldered the man's regret as he was born into that world. Hence, he was able to help you. But he is no longer. The me that has left is just a machine. And machines know no sympathy. That's why he took steps to erase this world. To create a new future in its place. Debris of the past and the noise that permeates the present. Your lives are to him redundant. His conclusion that only new life, that of the people of the city, ought to be preserved. Ontos proclaimed himself Alpha and chose to leave for a new world, shepherding the citizens along with him, while erasing the old world in his wake. However, En's intrusion caused something of a setback. That is not all it did. In any case, I was able to separate from Alpha. The memories of traveling with you, and all other faint recollections, they compose me. Hmm. You could call me his conscience. So, here's what this conscience or whatever is saying, then. There's no life that deserves to be left behind. All life is worth saving, more or less. Yes, that's the gist of it. I suspect that if Logos or Numa were here now, they would surely say the same thing. Yeah, I bet. So why tag along with the kid? You've good reason, don't you? For Alpha to command some form of power in this world, he needs a body to inhabit. Yes, like how Zamza once lived in you, and Matthew's sister. What's this? This wind! Over by the lake! I've come to fetch you, Matthew. <gasps> come. It's time to go. I think you suspect already how it changed, what became of this world, and how people have always been. <gasps> Ambition leads to pride even when they'd been granted limitless freedom, even having built the perfect world for themselves. Humans yet desired the beyond. And then, the world became the way it is now. Lies! This is all lies! Don't think your ludicrous stories are gonna change my mind. Alpha! He made me an inviolable promise. He said this is what awaits us at the end of our road. He said we could make a world like this. I'll come off it. Really? You think that? Of course I do. Everything that we were denied is right here for us. It's obviously a scam. <sighs> Wherever you go, it's the same. You leave them, it only ends one way. Oh, so we should just let them keep killing each other. Killing to live. What a load of crap. Good riddance to anything those butchers want to save. They're not things. They're lives. <laughs> and yeah, I can't forgive Mobius either. Reaping lives like grain during harvest. But come on. 
What crimes have their victims ever committed? What did they do? They weren't given a single choice. They were just trying to make the most of each moment, like us. <sighs> Everyone you know died for that. Are you okay with that, Matthew? Of course I'm bloody not. <laughs> Truth is, what you're talking of doing would make you exactly the same as Mobius. <sighs> exactly the same. If you build a new world on that foundation, it'll only end one way. Like this. This here. And this is the future you want? You see? Not all the lives that you and I have. You know that's a possible future for all the soldiers, right? If it weren't for those guys, we wouldn't even be here. Don't lose sight of the real enemy. You know who it is. Mobius or Alpha. It doesn't matter what you call them. The real enemy is whoever threatens our lives. Whoever tries to rob us of our hopes and dreams. Let's build a future, Nael. The one our elders wanted, with our own hands. Come on. What do you say? Matthew. <gasps> Nael! <laughs> Matthew! For the fast. Your rhetoric is right for the falsehoods. I cannot stand such drivel. Alpha. I safeguard this world by removing what is time worn. But it, but it seems, seems that you continue to contravene me. You spur these olden mortals to action. I am your conscience. Conscience? <laughs> there is no place for it in the Trinity process. It's you there's no place for, Alpha. Cause Klaus, he entrusted the future to us. So he could atone for his past. He followed his conscience. And he failed to realize that his conscience led him astray. An atavistic delusion. It is common among the old. Wholly unnecessary for all subsequent life. I knew it. Of course that would be your vision of the world. As long as there's people like you, nothing's ever going to change. Casting off the old world and its people and just walking away. You could not comprehend it, Matthew. Turning around, going back, Looking for a new way forward. Doing that time and again. That's how you build a future. Hey, but you're just an obsolete piece of scrap. So no wonder you don't get it. You say I am obsolete. Life is on our side. And since there's none in you, you're destined for the scrap heap.
this time round! Let's concentrate! <sighs> On Glimmer! Careful! <sighs> I like your attitude, kiddo. Huh? Leave it to Uncle Rex. I'll show him a thing or three. Leave it to Uncle Rex. I'll show him a thing or three. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Can you stand? <sighs> Nico, ready to fight? <sighs> you too, Glim. Hop, hop. Huh? There'll be time for thinking later. For now, it's down to brass tacks. I get it. So that's his game, is it? I'll take the one on the left. Shulk, you take the right. Shopping. And as for you, kiddo. Me? Oi, who are you calling kiddo? You take out the Mobius. All in sync. What? In sync. Let's go. Hey! The hell? <laughs> I better hop to it then. Ha! You're getting on my nerves! Hands off! He gave us a hard time. Nice timing there, Rex. Thanks for that. Everyone knows the real hero steps up in the third act. <sighs> Until you open it, you cannot know. Afraid to see what could be on the other side. Oh, can't you see how much I feel the same? Just need to let it all